So my uh, Jeep here has been making a bit of a squawk. Let's see if I start her up. I'm sure you can hear that. That's the, uh, the fan belt. See what we got here. So I need a light. The alternator. There's the alternator over. And there's the belt there. Way down in there. I need this here off. Yeah, let's get that off. Yeah, so the opener's down in there, so let's get this here gear off. Is that seriously the way this goes? That breather pipe comes out around there. That looks like somebody's hooked that up there to stop it. Going haywire. Yeah, alternator belt's really nice. I'll make it a lamp and show you. Okay, so uh, you can see the, the belts in there. And look, look how loose that there is. I'm getting. I don't know. An inch to play in them, so. Yeah, that alternator belt is way too loose. Let's see if we can get a look at the, um, whatever way the alternator's held on. What way is this gubbins going? This here is the most random thing. So, this big differ here is uh, is getting in the way. The alternator is down in behind this water pipe down in here, and um, I just can't really see. So let's pull this here off. Don't want to loosen that water pipe. That's gonna stay on, okay. Uh, that was easy. That's a fine day out there. Hmm? That's the tropical north of Ireland, boys. They're off. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. So now I can see the um, the back of the opener. There's a slot here and a pinch bolt there. So all I need to do is loosen that pinch bolt, slide it up. So oh. I 
loose that loose. Notice in here there's actually a adjuster at the end down in here, I don't know if you can see it or not. So it's obviously a screw type adjustment. So let's see if I can get on that. don't know if I'm going the right way or the wrong way. Ooh, those belts are getting tighter. Let's nick up that front one. Okay, that's a tight one. Getting tight now. Don't need to murder because that other screw should keep it tight in here. Right, let's get the uh, turbo pipe back on. Alright, so this bottom turbo pipe. Uh, where did that go? Like that. I'm gonna see if I can get it in such a way that that clamp I can buzz up with the impact gun. Make my life a bit easier. Can't get that. Well, maybe could I get her there? Let's give that a go and see. That is the sort of thing I do not want to do an impact for. If you pull that too tight, I don't know. You'd probably strip the clamp first, I would like to think, but boys, can you imagine if you busted the flange of that turbo or something? That would spoil your day. So then, that boy out can go in there. Okay, I can start it without this, so I think I'm going to start it and uh, just make sure that that's not squawking and that she's definitely fixed. What, what is the story with this here? 
Any, anybody else has one of these? This is what you call it a Shogun. I think it's maybe a Pajero, a Pajero, or elsewhere. But that definitely shouldn't be going through there. Some kind of lead breather. But like why on earth is that going there? Like it looks Surely that should just be shorter. Hell on. I'm not worried about that now. Well Start her up and then you guys let me know. This is Up there, the lights on, main beam on, the uh, trailers connected, so that's it was all on too. Cameras on the trailer, um, heated windscreen blower, the whole plant was going there, and no squeaks. And it doesn't sound like the belt's too tight either, so yep, let's uh, get this article back on, finish it up. So, so let's seriously just clip in. Just finished up the fan belt here and I'm I'm just looking around here checking the oil and that sort of stuff and um I looked at the battery here and it's clamps loose. So you can see down in there that the clamp has a hook on the end of it that is meant to go down in there and it's just pulled right out of that plastic. So there's meant to be like a metal sleeve in there which is obviously fallen out maybe this has had not enough tension on it and it's allowed the sleeve to pull out and then some other person has obviously ripped this up tight and pulled it clean out through so let's uh, pull the battery and see if there's anything we can do about that it just means that whenever you're upside down it might go on fire and if you're upside down that's uh, one less way you could do without. There it is. Oh, that's 
Yeah, so this we flaps loose. Let's see how it's broken now. Bolted down. Hundred bit fiberglass in that. Or do you just hold it down there, put a wee plate across it and rivet it? Or do you drill a hole here? Drill a hole in there and just put your differ straight down in. Just down in there should be real strong. You know, on that corner. You're never really gonna get that, it's just gonna really go off there. Why don't we just drill the hole there? This side This is pretty tricky This hair different in the way Put that side in Yeah Put that side in Back window is actually from the tailgate, so I'm just going to do that.
metallic rattle has come in and it's very fumy um, it's like stinking so the noise sounds like it's coming from like this door somewhere in underneath I'm um, guessing it's probably like a plate on the exhaust so have a look at that it's only happened in the last day or so To be honest, looking at it, that whole exhaust seems pretty rotten and it's probably going to need an exhaust soon so that's why I'm thinking just try and weld that in place get another, you know, six months or so, a year out of it and um, then, you know, I, if I start splitting those flanges um, I'm going to end up doing the whole exhaust anyway so it was just leaking at that weld's cracked Hopefully if I can get a bit of welding that. If not, well then we'll have to split it out anyway, so it's worth a try I think. Let's uh, start her up, get her off the ramps here and see if the rattle is gone on anyway. the 